Today we are going to talk about one different stock, a small cap stock. When IPO came in 2021, it was one of the most sorted out IPO that was defense in, in defense, uh, that is Paras defense. And the Para defense, when it listed, it was around 490, it has gone up to 1400 level. And in that one month only, the stock has gone up three times. But after that, you know, for three years, it has not performed. It has gone up to almost 550, 600 level. Then again, this April, March month, you know, the stock has gone up to 1500 level. But after that, again, it is correcting after Q1 financial year 25 result. So what to do with this stock? And many investors are there in this stock. And a lot many queries have been asked by Pankaj. Simandri Narayan, Vishwana, Jogindra, Sima, they were asked to review about this defense stock, small cap stock, that is Paras. So let us talk in detail about defense, about Paras. And before I go, guys, uh, if you are not still not subscribed to our channel, do subscribe. And again, guys, let me know if you want any stock to be analyzed from our side because we are going to talk all your stocks, whatever you are actually you know, wanted to know in detail. And mostly every day we are putting some stock or another stock and we go into detail about that. So put it in the chat box. I'll, I'm answering each and every of your comments. So talking about Paras Defense, guys, let us understand that uh, basically what is the segment. So talking about the segment, guys, if you see 32% is defense and space opticals where they have a high margin. Okay, they are involved in producing ultra high definition optics tailored to the cutting edge defense. Guys, this is where no, they are, uh, you can say, number one in the country. And this is where they want to go ahead and become you know, a much more expansion at this level because this is the uh, area where they are getting higher margins. When we talk about other uh, segment that is defense electronics, that is 37% where they are computing and basically they provide a range of high performance computing and electronic system for defense application for missiles, tanks and naval applications. So this is where they are getting 37% of revenue. We have to understand this revenue uh, segments because you know, then only we'll come to know which segment is performing more. Again, heavy engineering for defense, almost 31%. Products includes like you no know, titanium structure, uh, racks, cabinets, and all that. So this is another heavy engineering structure where they basically you know, uh, specialize in manufacturing high performance precision mechanical system for critical defense applications. So these are the three main segments where they are working currently. And if you talk about the uh, uh, overall their vision, what their what is their vision in next 10 years also, they want to become a global leader in optics and opto mechanical system in next three years. See, this is where their uh, specialization is and that is where they are getting higher margin become a globally significant EMP protection solution provider, become one of the top five drone companies in India. See guys, drone is you no know, actually getting a lot of fuel currently. You know that from last two, three years. And you no know, lot many other companies are also there in drone manufacturing. But yes, they want to be number one in that and become a number one anti-drone company of India. So now this is the what their vision is and they are going towards it. Okay, but slowly and gradually, of course, they are getting a lot of orders also. So let us understand the financial. How is the financial of uh, Paris Defense? So when we talk about uh, financial, guys, you can see here uh, the revenue increased by almost 73% year on year. Okay, uh, so there was a good uptick in revenue, but slowly and gradually it increases. It's not like a uh, now 45 degree angle over all the quarters. So that you have to keep in mind. When we talk about the gross margin, the gross margin, if you see here, it is stagnant. Okay, around 55 almost around. Okay, so kafi quarters se yehi margin chal hai, not going up so much. Again, when we talk about the EBITDA, EBITDA is almost 29%. Initially, it has gone down. Okay, and then again, it has gone up, which is around 29%. And this quarter one financial 25 was very good quarter for uh, overall uh, Paris defense, but yes, slowly and gradually it is going up. When we talk about uh, employee cost, employee cost is one of a major cause for, uh, you can say that uh, def uh, Paris defense. So when we talk about the uh, employee cost, it is hovering around 10 to 11 percent. Initially, it has gone to almost 14 percent, but now it is a little bit less. But yes, this is one of a cost, one of a important cost for uh, Paris defense. Pet margin is around 18%, which is stagnant over the years. It has remained stagnant. 
लेकिन वो बढ़ा सकते हैं इफ दे फोकस मोर ऑन ऑप्टिक एंड ऑल दैट नो दैट इज वेर दे आर गेटिंग हायर मार्जिन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट ई पी एस ई पी एस इनिशियली ऑफकोर्स क्वार्टर फाइनेंशियल ट्वेंटी नाउ अगेन इट इज कमिंग अप ओके सो स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली द ई पी एस इज क्लाइमिंग बट फ्रॉम लास्ट वन क्वार्टर बट स्टॉक हेज ऑल्सो गोन अप अट एज आई टोल यू फ्रॉम सिक्स थर्टी टू ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड लेवल इबिटा मूवमेंट सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द इबिटा द मेजरली इफ यू सी फाइनेंशियल ट्वेंटी फोर एंड फाइनेंशियल ट्वेंटी फाइव द मेन ऑफकोर्स थ्रू रेवेन्यू इट विल कम okay raw material cost will be majored of course employee cost and other expenses so these are the main part through which the these are the main part through which the your profitability may decrease but yes they are going to work on the ebitda margin a lot and for that they will have to work on the gross margin and they have to focus on wherever they are getting much more higher margin similarly when we talk about the outlook of a company so the revenue guidance the revenue guidance is maintained for financial 25 is 30% in financial and so 30% se grow honge that is what they are saying ebitda margin around 25 to 30% and net margin around 15 to 18% which is there currently also okay uh, again execution uh, to keep space to execution pace is around 50 to 60% financial 25 now as other defense company we have already spoken like so many like coaching shipyard and uh, mezagon and all that okay if you have not seen the video we'll give you the links in the description you can go and check that videos also but the execution is the key and execution is 50 to 60% the order book will be almost 2x in financial 20s almost 600 crore rupees so order book is there but main thing is whether they are able to execute or not again segment wise when we see the performance the split between defense electronics and optic is almost 54 46 okay however the reverse may be 46 to 54 in quarter 3 and 50 50 in final uh, quarter 4 25 and if they are able to increase that optic and op uh, optronics system uh, segment more then they increase the margin also okay the company will deliver one Uh, already made a deliver uh, delivery and a one to one submarine uh, prescope in quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four for financial at twenty five. Okay, so this is how the breakup will be when we talk about the closing order book and when we talk about the book to bill. What is book to bill? If it is above one, that means the uh, you are having a better order compared to what you are delivering currently. Okay, so that is around two point one. Okay, it is remaining around two, so that is good. for the you can say that paras uh, defense when we talk about the various outlook now talking about the outlook they have a partnership with japan for peri uh, periscope system okay and they are having lot more it's a long term collaboration and and again they are doing lot many collaboration with other companies also again capex guidance is 50 to 100 million for each financial year 25 and 26 which is remaining unchanged 50 million to like you can say 5 crore to 10 crore okay capex guidance they are always having again order book order book as i told you will be around 600 crore rupees okay uh, closing out over 600 crore rupees by april 24 again they are having by 28 they are thinking of almost 20 2500 crore rupees order book okay which is Which is sixty percent of the rule contracts. Okay, so now whatever order book, so order book. If you are saying that okay, it will be twenty five hundred crore from currently six hundred crore. There is a substantial rise in the order book. Whether they will be able to execute it on that is the main thing. Again, uh, companies focusing on drones and entry drone system much more because there is a big potential coming in that sector. Okay. now let us understand some other points also that company earnings to fall in the next two quarter as it continues focus on orders on defense engine which is less profitable than optics and optronics system divisions okay so their focus will be much more on defense engineering to so profitability thodi kam ho sakti hai because the margin in the other segment is little bit less when we talk about the uh, government government is one of the major customer okay so it is difficult for a company like paras defense to continuously increasing their margin kyunki dekho unko chahiye koi se aur ko bhi export ka and all that still export is not happening so much uh, 
अगेन स्पेस रिसर्च एन इज देर बट दैट इज अ स्मॉल ऑर्डर ओके ऐसा नहीं कि बहुत बड़े ऑर्डर बुक है करेक्ट चंद्रयान के टाइम नो एवरी थिंग वॉज गोइंग अप बट वन थिंग यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वेर इज द मेन ऑर्डर बुक लाइज एंड इफ दैट लाइज विद द गवर्नमेंट एंड सो इफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑर्डर डज नॉट कम थ्रो थिक एंड पास देन दिस टाइप ऑफ कंपनी विल हैव अ प्रॉब्लम सिमिलरली इकड़ा रेटिंग रिवाइज पारस डिफेंस क्रेडिट रेटिंग फ्रॉम स्टेबल टू ए माइनस ना वाई इट वॉज डन बिकॉज अर्ली इयर देर वॉज अ क्रैश कंच इन द कंपनी एंड दे यूज टू डू अड टेक अ क्रेडिट लाइन to uh, no cover the expenses and as a result that rating agency has decreased the rating and this is negative for the uh, paras because there uh, you can say no if in, in future they take loan on interest on their interest will go up again much more hype is build up on the order book but whether the paras will able to successfully execute the orders 60% currently rate is the whether they are going to go at 70 to 80% that you have to see that you have to keep in mind and the major problem will always remain that if there is a geopolitical scenario whether the order will be halted or some less order will come that is also a problem from the government side so ye sab cheeze that is a risk thing you have to understand when we talk about this type of company okay now talking about guys let us understand now understand and do the peers comparison also with other companies because that is very very important and let us see where the valuation of this paras is that okay so talking let us uh, let me share the screen and uh, let us understand the ps comparison so talking about the ps comparison guys when you talk about this you, you have to understand here that uh, one minute huh? yeah so if you see here this stock this stock has gone up this stock has gone up a lot okay over the time and basically if you see here uh if you see here the stock has gone up from almost 472 almost 14 1500 rupees okay and from a short period of time from you can say that for uh, may 23 to almost you can say that uh, june 22 now but when we see the p ratio the p ratio has gone up from you can say that 52 to almost 200 52 to 200 and this is what you have to understand this is what so it has gone up a lot now from there also the p ratio currently is around 123 now this is the problem that no p ratio has gone up a lot this is where the problem will remain and if you see compared paras defense with other companies okay so talking about the comparison so when we compare the comparison you see here uh paras is having a p ratio of almost uh, you can say 123 82 is the average compared to other companies no you can see their p ratio is much more le lesser okay mtar ka zyada lekin mtar is not such a great company honestly speaking so you can see here that the p ratio is much more even current cmp book value is 10.63 roe roc is not so great as such compared to you can see other companies they they are much much better like hl b uh, bar dynamics or bel and all that stuff okay so when we see the what is the sales growth 20% profit growth 24 so this is where it is okay but other companies are also doing well so uh, interest coverage ratio is 9 compared to other companies are having much much interest coverage ratio again the free cash flow is coming negative here so all these points you have to keep in mind when you are thinking about investing in paras defense no doubt the company has lot of potential but whether they are able to execute the orders or not we are talking about around 28 crore rupees uh, no order book by 20 30 or something like that but whether they are able to execute how much that is the main thing again the another problem is that the roe roc is on a lower side hopefully it will go up as and when profitability comes into picture so uh, when we talk about all this stuff one thing is for sure the defense stock like paras has gone up a lot now it is little bit cut but as a investor when you are investing you no know, you have to understand the valuation first and then only invest because sometimes it may happen if you invest at a very very high valuation the stock may lie in a range for a longer period of time and that is what happened with many of the defense stocks you now that has gone up now they have corrected so as a investor just 
keep these points in mind before investing what i have told you uh, so guys hope you like this video guys and whatever information i shared is just for your knowledge purpose uh, uh, before investing do your own research i am sebi register research analyst so keep this in mind guys because at the end of that this is your money okay and guys if you like this video do like it and share it with everyone and do subscribe to our channel and if you want any stock to be analyzed from my side or any sector do put it in the comment box i'll try to cover next time we are publishing almost one day or two day the videos which is very helpful to all of you investors okay so thank you very much guys and i'll see you soon in the next video. bye bye